Shifting to pole bound Karnataka, Bajrang Dal showdown continues in Karnataka as BJP steps up its Hanuman Chalisa recital campaign across the state. Congress workers to held prayers at Hanuman Temple in Bengaluru. Meanwhile, Bajrang Dal will protest against Congress manifesto, mentioning the outfit and likening it to PFI. This comes even after Congress backtracked from its Bajrang Dal ban vow and KPCC chief DK Shiv Kumar assured that the party will develop Hanuman temples across the state if it comes to power. Senior BJP leaders K.S. Ishwarapa welcomed Shiv Kumar's move of visiting temples but said the Congress is simply playing politics for Muslim votes. The today's event uh, we uh, in Parma, uh, in Karnataka we very well know that uh, uh, YPM and uh, the uh, fat guys from the central uh, uh, central government are rushing to Karnataka only just because of the uh, political uh, uh, whatever the uh, upcoming elections uh, events are happening throughout the state all the nationalistic people condemn the subject of. Chunavana Pranalika Samiti of Congress. They are condemning the banning of Bajangdala throughout the state. All the nationalistic people are condemning this one. DK Shukumar always going to temples. I welcome it because he is also a Hindu. But only because of Muslim votes, they are doing this type of politics. The publics, the Hindu, the Muslim, the Christian, they are all condemning this this type of behavior of Congress leaders. All right, we have Deepak joining us on the story. Deepak, a storm over Bajrang Dal is not dying in Karnataka, even as Congress has backtracked on a Bajrang Dal ban proposal. It has gone one step ahead by visiting Hanuman temples. But Bajrang Dal, we believe, is continuing to protest against the manifesto. Yes, a few Congress workers today visiting the temple going on to say that, you know, uh, the Prime Minister or the BJP shouldn't uh, politicize, uh, you know, uh, Lord Hanuman for the sake of uh, votes. Uh, they also went on to say that uh, whether uh, the, uh, you know, gods will uh, bless uh, the BJP if they're asking uh, votes uh, through the name of Lord Hanuman uh, for a corrupt government is the allegation that's coming from the Congress party. Now, this issue, of course, refuses to die down. The Congress uh, seems to be on the back foot at this point in time with the BJP continuously attacking the, uh, you know, Congress over this, saying that their manifesto was anti-Hindu. Uh, they are a pro-Muslim party, is what uh, they have been alleging. We even saw Mr. K. S. Ishwara, but tear the manifesto yesterday. We saw Hanuman Chalisa recitals as well. But as far as the Congress party, they seem to be somewhere confused about, uh, you know, uh, this aspect finding a mention in the manifesto, whether some of the leaders, of course, even knew that this was going to be a part of the manifesto itself, now comes under question with the kind of reactions that's coming in. And more importantly here, uh, the Congress, of course, has been trying to center this election around the local issues in Karnataka, uh, the, you know, the allegations of corruption that they've been talking about. But uh, once again, they've gotten into a different narrative, which they probably didn't want to. But unfortunately for them, uh, it is their own manifesto that has landed them in a situation uh, where uh, probably they feel they shouldn't have been in. All right. Thank you, Deepak, for joining us with all those details. BJP and Congress jousting for blessings. And, of course, Bajrang Dal is continuing its stir against Congress's manifesto.